Welcome to video number 13 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. Every industry from extractive ones such as oil, timber, and mining to agriculture and manufacturing has impacts. Tourism belongs to the newer, supposedly more benign set of industries known as services. But tourism, of course, has impacts also. Its three main impacts are economic, sociocultural, and environmental. Many of these impacts are positive, which is why tourism has grown to become the world's largest industry with impressive growth rates projected well into the future. Unfortunately, tourism also has some negative impacts. So let's discuss both sides of each of these three main impacts that constitute tourism's triple bottom line. The main reason tourism is developed anywhere is for its economic value. It's simple. Destinations do what it takes to develop the best of their natural and cultural resources and sell them to tourists. In some destinations, tourism is just another industry within a larger economic pie. In others, such as on many tropical islands, it is the mainstay of the economy. Tourism's positive economic impacts are more jobs, increased wealth, additional tax revenues, infrastructure development, economic diversification and resilience, foreign exchange earnings, and new opportunities for local entrepreneurs and small businesses. All of these contribute to a community's main economic goal, an enhanced standard of living. Unless tourism is integrated into the local economy with its purchases and ownership, a community often suffers from severe leakage, which means too much of the money it earns ends up somewhere else. Sometimes locals are faced with paying more than their fair share for the infrastructure built primarily to serve tourists. Jobs available to locals can be low paying, seasonal, and lack advancement opportunities. The cost of living normally goes up as more money circulates, including the price of land and local commodities, and as the economy becomes dependent on tourism, these situations only worsen. Some of tourism's negative impacts are inevitable, as you have to give up something to get something. But much of it is the result of weak policy, bad management, local corruption, or too much outside control. This needs to be avoided or corrected. Tourism is a people business. It's people visiting other people and places. Tourism is also a services business with people serving other people. So personal interactions is a major part of most tourism experiences. Tourists also enjoy experiencing other cultures. And the best way to do that is by stepping out of their own comfort zone, mixing with the locals, and sampling their way of life. Whenever people from different cultures meet, they impact each other. As the African proverb states, as I go, I am wearing you. Tourism's positive socio-cultural impacts also include keeping culture and traditions alive as tourists demonstrate their value to locals through the interest they show. This can be done by supporting festivals, handicrafts, performing and fine arts, and the preservation of monuments and historic sites. At its least, tourism is a medium for personal understanding and social exchange, and at its best, it serves as an agent for peace. It is said that much of tourism is rich people visiting poor people. And as the host, as well as the service provider in the host-guest relationship, it's the locals who normally suffer any of the negative socio-cultural impacts that occur. Tourism exposes local people to a variety of new and different mentalities, behaviors, and social norms. What they observe in wave after wave of tourists can affect their outlook on life and lead to changes in their own cultural identity, traditional values, family relationships, and sense of morality. Cultures are not stagnant, but when outside agents cause them to change abruptly, traditional societies can be harmed. Tourism's environmental impacts, including those on land, water, and air, plants and animals, and diverse ecosystems, come from three sources. One is everything the tourism industry does to develop its infrastructure, facilities, and products. Next is everything it does to operate them profitably by attracting and satisfying tourists. And then there are those created by the attitudes, behaviors, and actions 
of the tourists themselves. While the first thoughts about environmental impacts are normally negative ones, tourism can also generate positive impacts by educating tourists about the environment, deepening their appreciation for it, and financing its conservation and preservation. National parks have achieved great success in preserving and showcasing the natural beauty and biodiversity of many incomparable sites around the world as have programs such as UNESCO's Man in the Biosphere and its World Heritage Sites for Nature. Meanwhile, the tourism industry has developed many related concepts such as ecotourism, responsible tourism, and sustainable tourism. Tourists have become ecotourists and residents who understand the economic benefits of their environment have become responsible stewards of it. As tourism continues to develop and grow everywhere, it involves a great deal of construction, from clearing land and building infrastructure for the development of lodges and resorts, to opening hiking trails and ski runs, to widening roads, expanding airports, dredging seaports, and constructing new facilities that often transform the physical character of the environment. Some tourism businesses operate in a green, responsible, and sustainable manner. Others look for short-term profit and ignore environmental best practices. According to the UNEP's global view, tourism's three main impacts are depletion of natural resources, pollution, and physical impacts. More on this in video number 16, Environmental Impacts of Tourism. Sometimes whether an impact is considered positive or negative depends on the individual stakeholder's perspective. But a destination belongs to its community, just like your house belongs to you. And when it comes to who gets to enter your house and what behavior will be tolerated from them, you're the one who decides the house rules. The same goes for the residents and the other tourism stakeholders within a destination. They decide what impacts they will tolerate in pursuit of their optimal triple bottom line. Now I invite you to watch video number 14, Economic Impacts of Tourism. Thank you.